uh, we are looking at question number one of April 2022. ADT Business Mathematics and Statistic. Question number one, they say that uh, using a suitable illustrations to find the following matrix. Number one, we have uh, identity matrix. What is identity matrix? We can say that uh, identity matrix is a given square matrix. It is a given uh, square matrix. Of any order of any order which contains on its main diagonal which contains on its main diagonal element which contains on its main diagonal element the with the value of one with the value of one while the uh, while the rest of the matrix while the rest the rest of the matrix the rest of the matrix is equal or they are equal to zero In this order whereby we have a uh, eg we have a uh, one zero zero one that is an example of a diagonal matrix so three by three we can have a three by three matrix one zero zero one, zero one zero then we have zero zero one that also is um, an identity matrix but maybe Roman 2 we are told that uh, we have to define the term diagonal matrix diagonal matrix square matrix it is a square matrix it is a square matrix in which all the elements in which all the elements that are not in the principal diagonal that are not in the principal diagonal in the principal diagonal are zero are zero and are zero that's a diagonal matrix then lastly we are talking of a null matrix you say that a null matrix is a matrix whose elements are zero it is a matrix whose elements are zero is what you are saying eg you can have zero 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 matrix or three by three we can have all of them are zeros in that order this is a null matrix while this one the icon matrix is just like identity matrix uh, by the element that are not principal diagonals are zero. Then question number B: A wholesaler sold 30 cartons of milk and 20 crates of bread that are that 1,000. He later sold 40 cartons of milk and then crates of bread for 28,000. Formulate a simultaneous equation equation formulate a simultaneous equation to represent the above information and then roman 2 using matrix algebra determine the price of a carton of milk and the price of bread of bread a carton of milk and the price 
of a thread of print. Now, in this case, we can formulate our simultaneous equation. We have carton of milk and a print of a crate of print. Now, I can say that a let uh, milk, carton of milk, be x. And then that ton of bread, bread, by. Now in this case we had thirty cartons of milk. Now it'll be you having thirty x plus twenty crates of bread. Now it's the twenty y is equivalent to three that one thousand. Then again we are having he let us sold forty cartons of milk we can have 40 x plus 10 crates of bread now it'll be going to 10 y is equivalent to 28 thousand roman one we are told that i formulate a simultaneous equation this is the simultaneous equation you are asked roman two using a matrix algebra Determine the price of carton of milk and the price of credit of bread. Now, in this case, we are going to translate this particular mat uh, simultaneous equation into matrix. However, we can write in the matrix form. We have 30, 20, 40. We have 10. Here we write x, y is equal to that 1,000 and 28,000. Right, now in that case, we have uh, determined the, uh, we call it the determinant of the matrix. Determinant. How do you get the determinant? We are going to focus on this particular principle diagonal. Where if we are going third, I will be 30 multiplied by 10. We minus 20. We are multiplying by 40. Uh, by this, so that by 10, you get 300. Minus 20 multiplied by 40, you get uh, 800. 300 minus 800, you are getting negative 500. This is our determinant. Determine. Now we can find the inverse of this particular matrix. Whereby we have inverse, it's just the reciprocal of 1 over negative 500 into now the ones that I underlined or I circled. They are going to change the positions. Here we are going to have a 10, and then 30. The other matrix, which is 20, is going, we are going to have now negative 20. And then here we are going to have negative 40. This one is what we call the inverse of our matrix. This inverse of our matrix, we can use to multiply this particular data so that we can get the value of x and y. How do you do it? Let's do it here. Have x, y. Is equal to 1 over negative 500 into 10 negative 20 and negative 40 30 is equal to we have here 31 and then 28 In that case, we have to multiply this particular matrix. We multiply this matrix by we have x, y. By now, we are going to have uh, 1 over negative 500 into 10 multiplied by 3,100. 10 multiplied by 31,000. This is negative 20. Now in that case, we can say minus minus 20 multiplied by 28,000. 
the same applies to this one it's going to be negative 40 multiply by 31 3000 31000 sorry plus this is going to be 30 multiply by 28000 30 multiply by 28000 1 over negative 500 into this multiply by that you are going to get 3000 310 right then this multiply by that you are going to say minus that is going to be 56 huh? 560 thousand this multiply by this you are going to get 12 4 124,000 this is negative remember then we are adding this multiply by that 30 multiply by 28,000 24 we carry 2 36 8 right you can take it one over negative 500 into this one minus this one or three ten thousand minus five sixty thousand what you get we are going to get two five two fifty thousand that is negative two fifty thousand then we are having uh, 124 negative 124,000 plus 84,000 we have 0 0 this minus this is getting 0 and then 12 we get 40 in that case we have 4 40,000 now at this point we can just what we can divide negative and negative will cancel eventually where we have the value for x and y by now it is this one multiplied by this we are going to have uh, 500 the value for x will be 500 if you cancel that then the value for x is going to be 80 let's see this will be cancelling this and then we have 5 into 40 yes we get it. that is 80 it should be 800 800 now you are told the roman number three the amount the wholesaler earns if he sold the amount the wholesaler earns if he sold if he sold 50 cartons of milk and 30 crates of bread now in that case we have forgotten the value for x which was representing x was the car uh, the cred the carton of milk now we have the value for x or carton of milk carton of milk one carton we say that is equivalent to 500 what about is one what about 50 cartons in that case we are just going to take 50 multiply by 500 we divide by one we get 25 25,000 then we also have uh, one cred of bread one cred of bread one cred of bread is equal to we say this 800 now in this case we put 30 crates now in that case what about that crates of the same bread which will be how much we have 30 multiplied by 800 we are dividing by one you get 24 now we are told that to calculate the amount the wholesaler will earn if he sold 50 cartons of milk that crates now the amount that he will earn we have to get the total of this which is equal to 49 49,000 
Kenya shillings. That's what you need to do. That is a Roman number three. Roman question number B is talking over. That is a simultaneous equation. And number one, part A was talking of explanations of identity diagonal matrix. That is what you ought to have done to earn yourself 20 marks.